and I also changed my dress for this part because why not? <laughs> Video. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel for another fashion video. Today I'm going to talk to you about coats for spring. And I mean, the best ones you can find on the high street because as you guys know, I tried to look for affordable pieces. So we're going to show you several coats in more of a normal price class. Some of these items are still a little bit more expensive, but some of them are not. So I think there's choice for everyone. I also quickly wanted to mention that I have just reached 500 subscribers and I'm very very happy about that. I know for some people it means nothing but for me it means a lot so thank you thank you so much if you have subscribed and if you're new here then please consider subscribing and give the videos a little bit of love by giving it a thumbs up. Today's video is going to be in three sections so we're going to do trench coats, we're going to do like more white cream coats and I'm also gonna have a little mix about different colors and different materials. So I'm really excited for today's video because it's been a while since I've uploaded, it's been a while since I've been filming. So let's go to the first round. If you've been following me for a while, then you already know all of these coats. These are all of my own. These are my own trench coats and I'm very, very happy with them. I've got a white one and a pink one these are both from H&M and I bought them last year and this is from Morgan and I also bought this one last year. Now the ones from H&M were of course really affordable for the quality that you get and also for the uh, silhouette that it gives you. I thought it was really good value of that. And then the Morgan coat is really more expensive but this one I got eventually in sale. So for me it was still a very good buy. I'm going to try them all on so you can see them. So what I like to do with these two trench coats, I like to wear them open. So you can still see the outfit underneath, but you have that extra layer when you go to work in the morning and it's really still chilly in spring, which happens all the time, but you still have the extra layer. It is so nice. And a good thing about trench coats is that you can also double them up in um, autumn because then again, the temperatures are going to be a little bit like the same as spring. So you can totally wear them as well in autumn. So this is the first one that I'm wearing right now. Um, like I said, it's from H&M and it fits just so well. I bought both of them in a size 32 and I really love the contrast with the, uh, with the buttons and I think they just really give it a nice contrast. So you could even wear this with black if you would want to, but then you have a really big contrast, I think. Um, you can also, of course, wear them all closed but for me, personally, I like to do that with the Morgan one. So let's move on to the second. So here for the second coat, I have decided to wear them closed because this coat from Morgan is just the best trench coat in the whole wide world for me. I would say the exception is Ted Baker, but if you have seen the price tag of Ted Baker, you know why this is the best one in the world. So I super, 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 super much love this one. It is so nice. It has lovely details. You, you know, here at the sleeves, little extra buckle, and here at the middle, the big statement belt. And from the back, it even has like a little cape. And I think that's one of the best things on a trench coat. If they have a little cape, then you know they have put a lot of fuss in it. Because it's like, kind of like Burberry, I think. You know, you know Burberry is the epiphany of French coats, but that's even more expensive than Tabeka, so let's say Morgan is the best one. I love the color of it, I love the buttons, they are gold hardware, I love the belt, and there is like a white lining around the cuffs here, around the belt, and here so down below and on the pockets and also here at the shoulders. It is like a white lining, a white lining, and it feels a little bit like leather, it also looks a little bit like leather. So there has been a lot of fault in this coat in particular and this one I just love to wear closed up because I think it's so classy. Of course I will also show you a little bit how it looks open so you get a full look. This coat also has a lot more structure than this one from H&M. Some H&M are like really thin and you know they go with your 
with the flow but this one is a lot more structure and i do think this is why this one is a little bit more high-end high classy but also more expensive of course and it gives it also a different look now this one is definitely my favorite out of the three if i did not already mention that um yeah i just really really love it and then last but not least it is the one from h&m again like i said i just really like to wear it casual like this in a really casual not nothing fancy and then just open it up so you can still see the outfit underneath but it's also nice if you can still see some of the buttons for a nice contrast and here you can see really that it's more lightweighted than the one from Mar Morgan. You can see that this one goes really much more floaty with your movements. So here I am with the second part of the video and I also changed my dress for this part because why not? This dress is from Forever New and if I had not mentioned it, the other dress from the first section was uh, another story. They're both quite expensive. This one is the more affordable one and this one looks so high end. I really think it could go for a designer piece. I absolutely love it. I will come a little bit closer so you can see. It has beautiful buttons here at the front. They look like a little bit like pearly buttons or they're like mom, mama buttons. It's so cute. And they made a big bow here and they have a lovely color. It's a little bit low v-neck but nothing too much. And the length is perfect and the color is perfect. I seriously love this. And look how nice the bow turned out. So the second part is white coats, as you can see. And I have a really big thing for white coats because they look so good. They look like spring, they look like the new season, they look like something fresh and new. And I just love them. So these coats are all uh, like for the, for the mild spring days. So when it's still cold, when it's like 10 degrees, it's 11 degrees, it's 12, but it's still cold. It like almost freezes in the morning, but then it goes to 11 degrees with a lovely sun, something like that. So here I am with the first coat and this one is from Another Stories. I seriously love this coat. It is so bright, it is so shiny and it is, okay, it was quite expensive, but still, I so much love it. It has the most beautiful buttons. It has like a little belt so you can really cinch it in. And it has like pockets here and pockets here and they're both real pockets. Here at the sleeves, it has also a little bit of a detail and it is a little bit of a higher neck. The coat is lined. So this is more for the like chilly days when it's still, it's a little bit cold outside in the mornings, but you then put this on and it goes to 11 degrees during the day, but you still want to look already ready for spring. But this is a great option. I absolutely love it. So let me know you what you think of it, because I do think the coat is amazing. The quality is perfect and it has such lovely details. I'm not quite sure if I look that pretty in it as I've seen other people wearing it who look a lot prettier than I do at the moment. But let me also show you a little bit how it looks open. So here is the coat when it's open and you could still make a bow and then it's just a little bit more casual. So yeah, this was the first one. Let's move on to the second one. Next up, we have the coat from Mango. Now, this one is just as famous as the other one from Another Stories because they have both been over Instagram like crazy. And, of course, I couldn't resist. So, I bought also both of them. The Mango coat is a little is longer, which I like because with dresses and stuff, this is actually a really, really good length. And it, the color is not pure white but it comes very close to white and it has a lovely color and it has also quite cute buttons not as cute as the from another stories but quite cute it has also pockets here but they're they're now uh, stitched up so if you undo the stitching you have pockets and i really think if i hadn't done the pockets it would have been a really boring coat to be honest because then it would be just one piece of fabric it's still one piece but you know what i mean this gives it just a little bit more detail so this is the coat all buttoned up so as you can see there is no waist belt 
so it is a kind of like a straight fit now i do think this is also really nice it gives a little bit of rich, um, retro feelings and i do still like it i still love it but i'm just not quite sure which one is the better one the from another stories or this one from mango let me know what you think because i cannot decide from the back it's really straight nothing special but i think this is such a nice coat the quality is amazing and this one was a lot more affordable than the one from another stories and i think they also had this one in a really bright pink one so if you want i can also leave that one link down below and then again last but definitely not least this is a short coat and it's a booklet material and it is from mango um sorry it's from morgan again another coat from morgan so it is a little bit of a more boxy style it doesn't really have that much figure but i have to say it is super pretty the quality again is super nice i love the buttons here they're black with gold and it's really nice they also have it here on the sleeves and the jacket itself is more like a cream color and it has like a little bit like gold run through it but nothing to be obsessive nothing too much it's a really nice nice detail so i thought i bought a size 34 but it actually is a size 36 i think i could have sized it down because when you close it there is definitely enough space but there they do look really good on the shoulders there's even a little bit of shoulder uh, padding here on the shoulders so that's why it also gives it more structured silhouette so let's close it up see how it looks so here is the modern coat all closed up and as you can see again we have a high neck so all the white coats had something in common and that was the high neck i don't think that this would be the warmest coat but that's what makes it so so nice for spring again and it also has like little uh, pockets, but they're quite high up. Uh, but they're real pockets, so you can put some things in there. The point is, I think all of those three coats are super nice. I think this one is maybe my least favorite because I'm not quite sure if I like the boxy feeling of it. The boxy look that it gives me. But I do think it is wonderful made. The quality is perfect and if this is more your style like a buckley boxy jacket then this is definitely the coat for you so here i am third round third dress so this dress is from nuff nuff unfortunately they sent me the wrong size i ordered definitely a size 36 and i got a size 38 from the store so kind of annoying because it is way too big i even had to clip it in a little bit to give it a little bit more of a nice fit so this dress is super nice if it would actually be in my size i love it it is pure white but then with the black contrast the pockets here and here are totally fake but they make it look super cute and it is this lovely nice uh, light knitted material and it is just perfect for spring but this is a dress that I could definitely wear to so many occasions. It's definitely appropriate for work. It's definitely appropriate for if you're going to see someone, if you're going to have lunch or dinner or something. This dress is very, very versatile. And I think the most affordable of the three ones. Yes, definitely the most affordable of the three ones. So the last round is a mix of a little bit of everything and also different colors as you can see. So first on, I have on my cape. This is a cape from the brand of Bubble Room and I bought this last year in my... Yeah, it was in, in, in my fashion week, which by the way is coming back very, very soon to my channel, just somewhere in April. And I just absolutely thought it was a perfect spring coat. It was also perfect for autumn, but now again, if the temperatures are going slightly up, uh, you can still you can also wear this one because it is not cold anymore so you can just wear this and not freeze to that this one i definitely love because it still gives you a nice silhouette and it gives you like an illusion of sleeves because of the waist belt and also from the back so next up we've got this one and this one is actually more like a blazer than an actual coat but because it's such a long blazer and has the most beautiful buttons i thought 
I will show you anyway and this you can wear when the temperatures are really really up so when it's already like 10 degrees in the morning and like 15 in the afternoon or like 19 in the afternoon when you not maybe necessarily need a jacket but a lovely cardigan is welcome I just seriously love these buttons they are so nice as you might know I have a little obsession with buttons so when you have it open, it definitely gives it a more relaxed vibe. But I seriously think that because of these buttons, it gives it a more higher end look than it actually is. Because this is from the brand only. So this was quite affordable. Um, but seriously, the quality feels very, very good. It is also lined from the inside. But the only thing that I was a little bit disappointed about was the color. Because on the internet, the picture of this one was a little bit more nicer than it actually is in real life it was a bit brighter i really love the length of this one you can also wear it with trousers you can wear this with dresses normally my dresses would be a little bit shorter than this so maybe like this and then it would maybe have like the same length as the dress or as a skirt that could be super pretty so yeah let me know what you think of the blazer and then for some good measurement we finish with a pink coat now this is just like the cape one, still a very woolen material and it is really um, nice, it's really soft, but it's not lined from the inside. So this is why this is perfect for spring again, because it is only one layer of the woolen material. I love the color, I absolutely do love the color, but the fit of this one isn't great. I sized it down already in this one to an extra small because I wanted to be as fitted as possible. So now as you can see the coat is all closed up and now it looks super cute, doesn't it? But that is because you don't see the dress anymore. If I now show you the dress again with the coat, it doesn't look that cute anymore. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is with this coat but I can't really wrap my head around how it should fit me. I do really love the color and they have also little pockets here and also pockets here which is great the waistband is long enough so you can make actually a pretty bow i think that is also really nice it comes in here at the sleeves and it has like balloony sleeves and i also really really like that but then from this angle to the end it doesn't make any sense to me it's too baggy maybe if we send you in we make it fit it nah. as you can see it is different at the sides it goes up a little bit i mean it is a really pretty dress <laughs> i mean it is a pretty coat and i see so many features that i like and it feels really really soft really good quality also from the brand only it has also lovely buttons but the silhouette is just not working for me so you can let me know what you think, but I think it's not working for me. So guys, this was already the end of the video. I really hope that you liked it. You can let me know in the comments down below if there was any code that, that you really, really liked. Or if you want to leave a nice comment, that's always welcome, of course. Please don't forget to give the videos a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on the post notification bell because my Shop Until You Drop Fashion Week is coming to the channel very, very soon. I will see you all next week. Bye now!